Hello guys, we are in the kitchen today and you guys know exactly why we're in the kitchen. We are organizing this kitchen. Matt is mad at me because for weeks and weeks and weeks now, I've been telling him I'm gonna organize the shit out of this kitchen and I've literally prevented him from cleaning it up. Like I tell him to stop cleaning and organizing because I'm gonna do it and uh, yeah, I need to stop putting it off. Big projects like these, just don't put it off. Just do it. You'll feel much better about it. So I'm gonna freaking do it today and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I do. I bought a bunch of new stuff in my kitchen because it was my birthday. A couple of weeks ago, and I decided for my birthday present to myself, I'm buying myself home appliances because I am a freaking adult now. You know you're an adult when you start buying yourself vacuum cleaners and air fryers and kitchen gadgets that make you happy. Yeah, that's me. All right, we start every organization video the same exact way. You guys get to see the mess. As you guys can tell, the kitchen needs a lot of work. That's not even the only place that it needs work because I also have this bar area that needs a bunch of work as well. This guy used to be so cute. We need to figure out this place as well. Also, I wanna change these guys and actually have all of my nice coupe champagne glasses nicely set out here so people can see them because I have too many to be in my kitchen. Like. So many glasses that could look so pretty right here instead. All right, because I get overwhelmed very easily, we're just gonna start off easy. We're gonna do a drawer that I've been really excited to do, which is the tea drawer. Matt and I look at the tea drawer every single day because Matt and I love to drink tea every single night. Story done. Okay, I know it's bad being a hoarder, but I swear it pays off sometimes. I've had these little containers for weeks now. A brand that sent it to me, filled with candy, and I've been saving it for literally this moment. And let me tell you guys, they fit perfectly. So I put all of my mint teas that I got from Morocco in this one, and then I am gonna put this mushroom matcha drink mix in this one. And then I am gonna put turmeric powder in the other one because I don't think it looks cute in these bags like this. I don't know. I also feel like I should throw away the turmeric because I don't really drink it, but I know it's really freaking good for you. So I might start putting like a tiny bit in my teas, like a little like quarter of a teaspoonful. Oh, perfect. Like how pretty are these little spices in these little jars? Wow, wow. Like I said, how perfect. They just fit. Bless you. Thank you. They fit so perfectly. Wow, wow, wow. All right, the next drawer we're working on is the junk drawer. This drawer always looks like this. We put our batteries in here. Our candles for birthdays, random Tide pens, mints that I never eat. Number two 
is done. Woo! Hello guys, I am losing steam, but we're gonna do one more drawer before I finish for the day and make dinner for Matt and I. I'm still feeling a little sick. <clears throat> this next drawer we're working on is the medicine drawer that has all of my supplements. We've kind of overtaken two drawers with supplements and medicine. Matt and I love our vitamins. My current vitamins that I've been taking are the care of ones. These are amazing. It's day two cleaning my kitchen. I cannot go as slow as I did yesterday. I'm still feeling definitely sick, definitely under the weather, but we're gonna crank this out. I'm gonna clean all night if I have to. I don't wanna be doing this for seven days straight. It's also kind of fun. I find it really fun to organize and more fun to even make the mess to begin with. But I just wanna let you guys know today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. So I've talked about BetterHelp a couple of times, but if you guys haven't heard me talk about it, BetterHelp is the largest online therapy service. You can have access to over 30,000 licensed individuals that can help you with all of your issues that you have. I'm currently working on my scarcity mindset that makes me keep things I don't need anymore because I'm always scared that something might happen in the future, which is why I try to force myself to do these decluttering videos. So these types of videos really help my own mental health. So even though you guys are watching this and maybe it's fun for you guys to watch, it's even more fun for me because I'm working on myself. But my favorite thing about BetterHelp is that it is 100% online. So if you guys don't want to drive to talk to your therapist, you can just do it online. So you can text them, call them, or have a FaceTime or a Zoom call with them. The best thing about BetterHelp, which is something I know you guys have talked about, is that you guys have had bad experiences with your therapist. Well, with BetterHelp, you can actually just switch your therapist like that. I got really lucky with Cynthia that she was the first therapist I've tried and I absolutely love her, but Guys, you don't have to stick with your therapist if you don't like them. Switch to another therapist, and it's so easy to do on BetterHelp. So yeah, if you guys want to try out therapy and you guys want to try BetterHelp, you can go to betterhelp.com slash Ma and use my code for 10% off your first month. So that's going to be betterhelp.com. Honestly, I've grown so much in the last two years, guys. You guys would be proud of how I used to think about things and like how I used to act. I am so much better, and that's all we can really hope for in life, is to grow and be better and be more cleanly, Tiff. I wish I was super organized all the time. All right, I am just cleaning out this drawer. This drawer has all of my Ziploc bags and my parchment paper and foil and things like that, and I bought this thing off of Amazon that's gonna make it look really pretty. I'm gonna test it out and hopefully they fit because I'm realizing my parchment paper is huge and I don't know if it's gonna fit it, but we're gonna see. Okay, right, we're gonna wipe it down, dry it off with a towel. Okay, these are the things that I grabbed from Amazon, and I've measured them, and hopefully they actually fit. I'm gonna be so sad if they don't. Okay. <gasps> Wait, kinda nice. Yo! We're putting foil here. Yeah, this is too long. No! Why is this so long? Jesus. Okay, parchment paper does not fit, but I'm just gonna take it out. Then we have Ziplocs. These are gonna go here. Yo, this might be my favorite thing I've ever bought. This is so nice. I guess it doesn't matter. I stuck a little cutter on the side of my cabinet so that I can just do this. Woo! Look at that. All right, guys, here is the finished drawer. Look how beautiful this is. I know I say this a lot, but are you kidding me? Um, so we have our foil, we have our snack size Ziploc bags, our sandwich size Ziploc bags, our quart size Ziploc bags, and our gallon freezer Ziploc bags. And then we have our cling wrap, then we also have parchment paper and freezer paper. And I actually did a little Frankenstein experiment. Um, these little cutters weren't long enough, so I actually 
combine the two together. I had to cut it in the middle right here. And then I had to properly make sure that this slides super easily. So it had to be like perfectly aligned. Look how smooth it is. It kind of does get stuck once in a while, but like it's pretty smooth. But how satisfying is this drawer? Dude, like I'm so happy I found these on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys. Okay guys, I'm sitting on the ground because I'm gonna switch it up. I feel like I'm bored of doing cabinets right now and I'm waiting for something from Amazon to come on in. Hello shark, I just washed my hands so I can't touch you again. I love you dearly, but I am very deathly allergic to you when I touch you. Hee hi. Just kidding, I do pet shark, but I just washed my hands. So if I touch her again, I have to wash it again. Either way, this little corner I'm sitting at is filled with shit. There's so many things in here. This is kind of our cabinet we've kept for like any extra foods. So if we bought like salt from Costco, we'll keep like the extras in here. If we bought extra like ketchup, they'll be in here. It needs cleaning though, because there's a lot of things in here that are just disgusting. I do remember something spilled in there like a year ago and I don't think Matt or I cleaned it. It was like protein powder, which is not mine of course, it's Matt's protein powder. Either way, protein powder is all over this cabinet. So we're just gonna take everything out. Shark girl. Ugh, fine, I'll pet you. Hi. Look at her. If you want pets, I get to I get to do this with you for a second. Come on, no, no one gets to see you. No one ever gets to see your pretty little face. Yes, I live in a zoo. I have three animals in this house. Oh, I'm sorry, but you wanted pets, didn't you? Okay. I just manhandled you and you still want pets? Girl, you're on one today. Normally she's not this friendly. Why do you want so much love today? I don't have just one bag or two bags but three extra bags of crispy onions. Ew, ew, what is in here? Trash? This is tr literally trash, like why is this even in there? Cute. Trash bags, party city supply. Oh wow. Just put my hand in a bunch of oil. It's pretty disgusting in there. Wait, I just sprayed this all over my cabinets. This is for clothes. I'm so dumb. So here's everything I'm throwing away that was in those drawers. Everything is pretty much empty or expired. And now we have a drawer that is completely empty for all of our stock ups now. So here's like extra food that we have, like oils and ketchups and salt. And then this is just the only thing that's maybe not extras, which is Matt's protein powders for the gains. And then here we have all of our party supplies. So like single use plastics and papers and napkins and things like that. Okay, this is the next drawer I want to organize. Um, as you can see, giant freaking mess. Literally everything gets shoved in here. I'm always scared something's gonna fall every time I open this drawer up. So we're gonna, we're gonna organize it. What is this? I have a waffle maker! I have a waffle maker! Why is my voice sounding like that? Jesus. I didn't know I had a waffle maker. What the freak? Also, these giant ass tongs. Yeah, baby. Do I really have two popcorn makers? We got everything out. We just now need to clean it. All right, guys. We are doing this drawer today. I call this drawer my dinner party hostess drawer because all of my hosting goods 
is in here like all of my nice plates all of my nice silverware all of my nice cheese boards literally go in here oh my god i made this plate in pottery and it is so ugly so ugly trash in the bag. The scrub daddy has been life changing. Now that everything is out like this, it doesn't look like I had that much stuff. I almost feel like it looked crazy because people were just like stacking things in here without actually properly organizing everything. So I'm so excited that this is getting clean. Right, guys next drawer we're figuring out and organizing is this drawer this drawer is supposed to be a drawer for the babies it's a little bit of a random drawer Okay, so I organize the drawer for the babies. This is how I'm organizing it. Um, this is all of like the decor stuff, like random decor that I have for the kitchen. So these are like tea lights with the actual, um, I believe they're called, not tornadoes, hurricanes? What are these called? I feel like I'm so wrong. These are not called tornadoes. Hello. My Amazon stuff just came in the mail and I'm looking for some spice organizers because my spice drawer is looking pretty shitty i'll link everything i got from amazon by the way down below um but also i got some snack bags to fill up my drawer that is filled with like ziploc bags and um foil i have to show you guys that drawer because i did fix it last night and it looks so much better than it did i think this is the spice stars i've been looking for Look, here are all of the stickers. These are like the stickers you see all the time. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my spice drawer really fast so that I can start organizing these. I'm so, I, you guys have no idea. I'm so excited about this right now. Like I cannot wait to get started on this project. Okay, you guys have seen this already, but just in case you guys forgot, this is the current state of the spice drawer. It's not pretty at all. Not even close. Wow, this drawer smells so good. Out of all of the drawers in my entire house, I have been waiting to do this one. I washed all of my dishes last night so that all of the silverware is nice and clean so that I know exactly how many spots I need for everything. So, without further ado, let's do it. And we're done. Um, this drawer is looking pretty good. I feel like I do have like one too many utensils in here, but I'm pretty happy with how everything is looking. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because I can't spend another hour on this because I spent like 40 minutes on it already. So I think it looks pretty freaking good. We have our spoons here, forks here, knives here. This is the Asian utensils. So chopsticks and ramen slash soup spoons. Then we have measuring cups, measuring spoons. Then we have kitchen gadgets slash tools in this drawer. These are like the regular size kitchen gadgets. These are the oversized kitchen gadgets. And we have small gadgets over here. And then here's all of our knives and a knife sharpener that I need to start using because your girl has really dull knives in this house. Alright guys, 
guys, we're almost done with making my kitchen look cute. I'm currently just washing the vases and trying to decorate. It's very hard to decorate when not everything is a perfect set, but I kind of also love the look of it being lived in and people actually living here and it's not an Airbnb. So I have like all of these mugs out here. This is probably the least aesthetic. This is probably the least aesthetic shelf I'll have. The other shelves are pretty cute. Um, I definitely need to figure out this top shelf. And I have this broken vase that actually the stagers left at this house when I bought this. Which is why I don't want to get rid of it. It's like the only thing I have a memory of, other than the entire house, of why I fell in love with this house. Um, it's just a vase. It's nothing special, but like I have good memories with it, even though it's broken. So I'm trying to figure out where to put it in this kitchen. I don't entirely love the look of this, but it's... I'm just working with what I have. Oh, okay, this is dangerous. I would love to take pottery classes again and then maybe make some really cool vases that I have displayed, but as of now, it's just not it. This has now been demoted to charcuterie board. We're never using it. Please look good. I'm so over going up and down that thing. Fuck it. Good enough. Okay, still struggling. I'm struggling a lot trying to figure out how to decorate the kitchen, but my CB2 order just came in the mail and I bought this beautiful Cobra marble bowl. It's supposed to be a bowl on display. You're, press, you're, supposed to, you're probably supposed to put nuts in it. Also, I got the prettiest freaking knobs for this house. Our knobs have been falling apart. It's like the resin that they glued it in, it keeps popping off. So if you ever see our house in person, you'll notice that some of our knobs are missing knobs. It was time to buy new ones. And I bought these T bronze knobs from CB2. They're on sale for 60% off and they are beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna try to find a pretty place for this. It's so pretty. Look how pretty this bowl is. Okay, look how cute this little coffee station I made for Matthew. So he has his coffee and this cute little um, tub I got from Target, I believe. Yes, these are from Target. Then this is from CB2. This has a stevia in it. I'm actually waiting from Amazon for more spice jars. So I'm actually gonna put the stevia in a spice jar just because this is very inconvenient. And then he has his coffee filters. And then we have his brown coffee machine and his Nespresso coffee machine. This is a moment. I have decided I'm gonna throw away this guy, even though I just talked about how I'm keeping it forever because I just cut myself on it and I don't want anyone else cutting themselves on it. It just, it needs to go. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. I need to stop being a hoarder. So we're throwing it away. All right, here is the current mess. Um, I have not yet finished <laughs> doing this. This is gonna be for part two. Um, I have so much stuff I still need to clean up. Okay, so far this is how I'm decorating everything. I'm not mad at it. It actually looks pretty decent. I think I'm just gonna leave it at this. I'm gonna keep organizing the rest of the kitchen and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Oh, wait, I'm actually gonna do the little um, knobby knobs and let's see if it looks better, so. All right, oh my God. All right guys, I just cleaned every single freaking corner of this kitchen. I cleaned the stove, I cleaned the little filters in the stove, I cleaned everything, but this is how I decorated everything. You guys saw me organize all of the drawers, but I'm not gonna give you guys afters because I'm gonna force you guys to watch part two of this video. Part two, I'm gonna go over the fridge, the pantry, so any like food storage. And I haven't done like under the, the sink. I'm also gonna do the bar area in part two as well. I just figured this video is getting very, very long. Um, 
But yeah, this took me five days to do. I don't know why it took me so long. Some days I was a lot more productive than others. Other days I only did like two or three drawers. And I was like, all right, I'm done. But a lot of it was spent going on Amazon and like ordering organizational stuff that I didn't have or returning things that didn't fit. So I'm gonna link down below all of the, like the Amazon stuff that I use and all the organization stuff and all the CB2 like knobs because I always wanna know where people get their organizational stuff because it's it took me a while to figure out where people were getting things. So yeah, if you guys haven't already, go check out BetterHelp. And I'll see you guys in another video. Make sure to see the actors in part two. Also, subscribe if you guys want to see part two. Alright, bye guys. Bye. <laughs> hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.